zone. Shot attempt is deflected by Sean Fazbinder. Goes to Chris Thorpe. Chris working with the puck now. To Wendy. Matt will end up dropping it back for Wendy. Wendy tried to put a shot on, stuffed by Molly. Molly to Jake, but does not get to him. A little miscommunication between Jake and Peter. Peter ends up taking it. Shot attempt is blocked by the White Walkers female player, whose name I do not know. She appears to be brand new. There are 400 players in the, oh, shot and a save by Joe Sarko. There are over 400 players in DCHL, ladies and gentlemen, by my last count. So, I do occasionally forget people's names or new people come in. I don't know them right away, so it happens. If I don't have your correct name, I'll eventually make up a nickname for you. Play is whistled dead. Face-off will happen at Joe Sharko's glove side. Puck Buddies are a very good team at winning face-offs. They do not win it there, though. Goes to Boris. Boris now works around Cassidy. Boris has a chance. Shot in a goal! Boris Senatorov using his magic, working around several Puck Buddies players and eventually puts in the back of the net. That'll make it one to nothing in favor of the White Walkers. White Walkers jumping out to a lead here late in the first period. No miscommunication there, but White Walkers are not adversely affected. Morris has it again. Tried to get to center, could not do so. Drops it back to the point for Brett, but Jen was there to intercept. Joel intercepts her pass though. Shot and a save and a cover by Sean Rada, who is being tested now in this first period. One twenty-two and counting. Not much time left in this first, but plenty of time left in the game. Brett with the shot. Goes off several people's bodies. Puck Buddy's now having trouble getting out of their zone. Heather was nearly able to keep that in, but it went just over the line. Peter Doe working. Oh, good play there by Boris. Good back checking by him to break up that Puck Buddy's rush. Jenny working with the puck now. Gets away from her. White Walkers will advance the other way. Her buddies are back on side. Cassidy will dump it, but Red Boy Zell's the only one for it. There for it. Joel and Jason Lopez now. They will vie for control of the puck. Jason's able to push up. Into the neutral zone. Swiped aside by Heather, but it goes to Sarab though. Good play by Brett. And Brett again is able to get it out. Tom Van Heron was initially going to rule that icing, but the only reason uh, Jenny was unable to get to the puck was because Tom was in the way. So, referee Suds overturning that initial call. And play continues on. Boris tried to work with the puck. But he's out of the zone, and that'll do it for the period, ladies and gentlemen. First period of action here, and it results in the White Walkers being up one to nothing on the Puck Buddies. Seven to five White Walkers. Seven five in favor of the White Walkers. So White Walkers have the only goal of the game, and they outshot the Puck Buddies by two. So it's not over yet, folks. There's still two more periods to play. Join me for the second period shortly. See you in a bit.